Welcome you all once again to Marine Mechanic videos and the topic for the day is limitations or how would you increase the power output of a diesel engine that is a marine diesel engine. So by this time we all know about the formula the indicated power that is IP is P times L times A times N that is plan. So I'm not going to include the conversion factors from one unit to other. So P stands for this mean indicated pressure. I got to be more clear with respect to the power it is mean indicated pressure and not mean effective pressure. And L is the stroke length and A is the area of cylinder liner not the area of the piston it is the area of the liner and M depends on whether it's two stroke or four stroke the number of strokes or the RPM of the engine. So with this formula the power can be increased by varying all these factors. In fact, I can write it as power is directly proportional to P, L, A and N. So by increasing any one of this factor, I can increase power. Let's take the RPM speed of the engine. So if I increase the speed of the engine, obviously the power developed will increase. But for a marine diesel engine, the maximum RPM is going to be same. We can't extend beyond that. So that's the design criteria. So N is not the factor. And if I think about the other factors like, let's say, area and stroke length. For a particular design engine, let's say 6S70 MC, number of units 6 and 70, that is 700 mm of the cylinder diameter, can be altered for a particular engine design. However, the only parameter which I can alter is P, that is mean indicated pressure. So, mean indicated pressure like if I, let's say if I'm going to put more fuel, I'm going to get more power. That's very simple. However, to burn more fuel, I need to put more air. So, that's one factor. And increase engine speed, this is the design thing, so we cannot do this and reduce friction. Obviously the tribology or the characteristics of lube oil has been improved over a decade. So the coefficient of friction keeps on reducing as the lube oil characteristics and bearing metal characteristics increase or improve. So friction drops and if the friction drops the friction coefficient or friction losses come down and thus that increases the efficiency of the engine. Increase the compression ratio. So we're going to deal with the compression ratio in a separate video. However, increasing the compression ratio of an engine will definitely improve its power output. And the last one is area increase in weight. Like uh, for the same engine, I can reduce the weight of the piston or the cylinder liner or cross it arrangement so that as the weight comes down, the power output for the same engine with same dimensions is going to increase. So, out of all the factors, the one which I'm going to take is more fuel and which needs more air. This can be easily adopted out of all the factors. So I'm going to erase all these factors. So to increase the power output of the engine, we got to put in more fuel and to burn more fuel, we need more air. So how do we put more air? That leads to the innovation of superchargers and the latest turbochargers. So in the next video we are going to see the difference between a supercharger and the turbocharger. Thank you.